so the shield has never come up before. The shield almost yield before his mighty shield. When Captain America throws his mighty shield, all those who chose to oppose his shield must yield. If he's led to a fight and a duel is due, then the red and the white and the blue will come through when Captain America throws his mighty shield. So the shield has never come up before. <laughs> And suddenly there's a threat. Now, who would the changelings have made a threat if they were going to attack? Where did this threat come from? It wasn't I like... I think it was they detected a threat But then they would have said that. They said there has been a threat made. It has nothing to do with the wedding. A threat has been made against Canterlot. But they that implies... Say, it implies that someone threatened something, but it could have just been they detected a threat. You know? The th there has been a threat. It exists. It, there, it didn't mean that somebody sent in the threat. True. Well, we haven't met any scrying ponies yet, but so they put up the shield, which we've never seen they before. They have a telescope. That's scrying. And the shield seems to be the only defenses they actually have, because what do the Royal Guard do? All those guards are lined up to defend Equestria from this threat. And yet, as soon as the shield's down, they're completely hosed. Okay, because the guards do not have magical powers, right? So then what's the point of they're the guards? They're physically powerful guards. So if you're just, you know, they can, they can quell, like, riots or normal ponies. And, you know, even unicorns, most of them only have one lousy magic spell. Like, what does Rarity have? Baby telekinesis? It's like, yeah, the royal guards can take Rarity, right? You know, it's like... So, and, and the diamond detecting. Sure, right, but that doesn't help you take over the city. Every unicorn has baby telekinesis and right. a little thing. Right, so the, you know, in Canada, it's mostly unicorns. The Royal Guard can handle So Canada you're line. saying, <laughs> you're saying that the Royal All, Guard... No, the Royal Guard themselves are also unicorns. They also have piddly magic. Some are unicorns, some are pegasi. That's but you're cool. arguing that the Royal Guard was mobilized in this case... To prevent internal dissent as no, a panic I'm saying is or that to keep order. They didn't know the magnitude of the threat. Unless the threat is an incredibly powerful magical threat or dragons or something like that, the Royal Guard can handle it. I point out they thought the threat was more than you're implying because one, Celestia and Luna were keeping constant vigil as we saw. Who goes there? Stay indoors, Twilight Sparkle. No. Yeah. And they put up this shield, which we have never seen before. Right, which is the only spell that Shining Armor can cast, apparently. Apparently. I'll bet mm -hmm. he could do, like, a small shield. Like most shield. unicorns, he has one. He probably could do a small shield easily, but he chose to do a big one. That's why it was hard. Yeah. yeah. So in terms of the shield, though, it's definitely obvious that he could not, like, detect who goes through the shield, but it somehow lets only ponies through. Because when the oh. train went by, okay. it kind of opened, but a little bit. But it was still it had didn't like this. open. It just sort of so a, a one part of it became allowable for the train to well, go. Well, a through. circle appeared, but it was not open. There was still something there, and the membrane of the shield went over all the ponies in the train and the train, and they all kind of shivered, like something weird happened. Yet when Luna came in, the shield straight up opened. There was a hole in the shield. It's easy to explain, right? Is it? Yeah, it is. It's because there's one more thing that you're not mentioning, which is when he remade the shield. All of the changelings were bounced out as it was spread. They were. Right? So he actually has two spells, the create shield spell and the power up shield spell. When he powered up the shield, it didn't create a bubble that went wow and expanded. It instead just went and recharged the existing shield. Right? So here's how it works. So Luna, how did she get in? She just used her far power, more powerful magic to open a hole. That's why it opened now maybe she just so didn't want to if luna was the threat that shield wasn't going to do anything maybe she just didn't want to feel that weird whatever because obviously it is uncomfortable to go through that shield maybe who knows if she could but how did the regular ponies get through on the train well everyone points to the pointless guards with the spears yep. right maybe that was part of the spell that the guards moving their spears away is part of the spell that allows that part to open for the train. I and mean, Shining Armor is like, the like, head of the Royal Guard, right, so maybe he has like these sort of glamours where those things like tell him that's or part of him. It's, it's switch. It's part of the spell that you know the Royal Guards allow people in, or maybe he, you know, if you're if you are good and happy and nice, you can get through. But if you're evil, you can't get through, right? Um, but the question is, right? Here's the real problem with this whole situation, right? So the evil queen was in so it's assumed that she was in before the shield was put up and yep. that's right but she was bounced out when the shield was remade so, so if she was in before the shield was there in the first place wouldn't she have been bounced out when the shield was originally put up so thus perhaps you know originally when i saw this i thought that maybe the shield just by default lets ponies through i know we did not see a single non-pony other than arguably the alicorn sisters because they're kind of special mm -hmm. 
in this entire you know royal wedding. So maybe only ponies can get through. So the changeling in pony form. Well, I mean, animal. You know, there's animals in the royal gardens. Were they? Stuff. We didn't see any. They weren't bounced out. Had they perhaps <laughs> been evacuated ahead of time? We don't you know. You know, the phoenix wasn't bounced out. No. Nah. But uh, perhaps the shield only lets ponies through unless someone takes some action. I think it just lets through. I think it's just sort of shining armor, but he doesn't have to consciously think of who to let through. We know he doesn't have to consciously think because he was surprised by Twilight being there. I've got something to say to you, mister. Twily! Right. So he didn't detect her coming through exactly. the shield. Exactly. He doesn't have to consciously think about who gets through, but it's like... You know, it's, I guess it's, it's controlled by him, right? They have, no one else has anything to do with it. Yep. So it's his feelings. If he's feeling good about you, you're getting in. So he was feeling good about the queen who deceived him and let her in, right? He wasn't feeling so good about the, you know, the evil changelings that weren't even disguised at the time. So they weren't getting in. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to it. You know, it's obviously not a very high quality shield because it can be smashed physically with enough. Ah, beating. but it was only smashed because he was so drained. He hadn't. Well, it, it wears off, right? So he couldn't recharge it. He had to, he had to recharge it, and then you can physically break it just pounding on it. You know, so that's all there all is right. to it.